Hey everyone, hello and welcome, Tony Bing again here. I've decided to have a look at Gambit. I could see on the test centre forums that IC1, the huge Gambit fan, eh, was mentioning that he doesn't have access to TC at the moment, so I figured I'd put up a video and fingers crossed it'll be helpful for him and any other Gambit fans that maybe can't get on the TC at the moment. So I'm not a, a, a kind of a Gambit expert, so apologies if, I'm, if this isn't too in-depth and if I miss anything. If I do, even let me know in the comments. Anyway, in that way, if anyone's watching the video, they can read the comments and they can fill in any blanks. But let's look at the first section, which is bow combat. So with this particular section, I don't think there's many changes. I believe there's possibly two. And I'll cover them as I run through. So the first skill we're looking at is Bow Strike, so it's your basic melee attack and it just operates the same as it would do on live. And then we have Good Times Roll, which is your melee movement skill there, and once you do it, it buffs your attack and move speed. I think it did do that on live as well. And then we have Bow Vault. Now I think this has changed in regards to, I don't remember having a a cooldown because I can vaguely recall when I used to play Gamba, I would kind of jump about spamming this move and it was quite fun so that may be different now that it has a cooldown attached to it. And we then have Street Sweep, this all looks the same as before really, you've got vulnerability and so on. And then you've got Grand Slam, same idea as live as far as I can see. All in, again, same idea, so simple so far for these. And then we've got uh, a new skill I'm pretty sure batter up. I'll show you the animation for this. It does look pretty nice. So let's see. There we go. That's pretty nice. Knocks up a bit of debris and then smashes it. I'll show it one more time. It's got a low 8 second cooldowns. So let's see. There we go. Yeah, I do like that. Doesn't really do a great deal. It is just damage, but it's good to see a new skill in his kit anyway. So that's the melee side of things. So let's look at the range side of things, which will be kinetic mastery. So like the last section, this remains largely the same, there are one or two slight tweaks, they're mainly through traits that will mix things up a little bit, but other than that, it appears to be very similar to how he is on live. So you've got Royal Flush, which is your kind of range spammable AoE move there, and then we have Wild Card, which is his basic range attack, and we're following that up with Trick Card, which will stun enemies, and it's got a critical hit chance of 100%, 8 second cooldown. We then have Dead Man's Hand, and that's your, your main spender. The more you fire that, the more cards you'll actually fire off. That's the same as live as well, as far as I'm aware. Um, we have Foldem, which is you'll jump back and you'll stun enemies. This is tied in with a trait, which we'll, we'll look at once we're looking at the talents and traits section. We have Ace of Spades, same idea. This is also tied in with a trait, which changes this skill. It changes it from range to melee, which is really quite different. Then we have House of Cards, which is the same before. I do like that particular one. This is also tied in with a trait. It's actually tied in with Foldem and Bovault, which is quite interesting. We'll cover that in just a moment. And then we've got his signature, which is just the same there. So it's 52 pick up and you've got your and your channel and time and so on on it and damage resistance as well while you're using it the ultimate is the same which i believe gambit fans were looking for a new ultimate because they're not a fan of this particular one with rogue but it is just the same for now but if, if you're not a fan of that then get on test center and get suggestions some alternatives i don't know any myself i'm not huge on gambit lore but that's what the test center is there for and this is only the first day on it so just bear that in mind but let's have a look at talents and traits now Okay, so with this section we'll look at his defensive and defensive traits as well as a new resource he has as well. You can probably see that there. That's certainly different from what we're used to. So the first uh, part is Savate Expert, which gives him critical damage 20%. He's a blaster archetype, which means he gets fighting and energy. And for the defensive trait, it's, it's a sleight of hand, which is deflect chance 6%. Archetype is nimble, giving him deflect and dodge. And he's got the usual close quarters, 8% damage reduction buff for 3 sections on uh, three seconds on melee attacks. Uh, the kind of resource that's different is kinetic energy. So powers can spend kinetic energy for additional effects. doesn't regenerate naturally. What will happen is it will drain all the way down. Once it drains, it starts to restore itself. You can use skills such as this one, the basic, that helps your kinetic energy recover faster. So that could be quite interesting. makes it a bit more complicated, but it could certainly be interesting. So the first skill we have is one you, you probably notice is missing from his main skills. It's Raging Cajun, which is kind of tied in with kinetic energy now and what I'll actually do 
is I'll activate this so we can actually see it. So as long as you've got kinetic energy and it's not kind of refreshing itself, you'll see little explosions as you're attacking. So let's show that off. There we go, we can see them there. It's quite nice that it's still there, it's, it's changed quite a lot from how it, it worked mechanically on live, and there we go, we can see we're out of kinetic energy, it's recharging down there, so we no longer get it, kinetic energy goes full, and it's back again, so there we go for that. Uh, the next skill we'll be looking at is fuel the flow, so kinetic energy regeneration rate increased from 15 to 20% during its recharge period, that's, that's not a huge amount to be honest, if I was going to be using anything I'd probably use raging cage in there. Uh, we do also have power overwhelming, max maximum kinetic energy 200, and onto the second trait line we've got cheat death, so when you're defeated you regen health, kinetic energy regen, energy damage, 6 minute cooldown, and its cooldown is just by 5 seconds when you spend your kinetic energy, so when you go the way down, 5 seconds off that. And then next up you get King of Hearts, it looks a bit under tuned this, it's passive effect, it's maximum health 729, health and hits 72, health regen 73, so if you're in combat you'll be looking up close to 104, well 145 will be if I add it up, health regen in combat, which is alright, but it's nothing, nothing amazing there. And then we have sleight of hand, so passive effect, it's dodge rating, and it adds dodge rating multiplier, credit find, and when you dodge an attack you do physical damage as well. And moving on to the third trait line, we've got jacks are better, which is dead man hand and wild card throw a special uh, explosive card every fifth card. So that's a bit different, I won't actually kind of activate it because animation is quite hard to see, it doesn't really look uh, that that kind of, you can't really spot it that easily, so there's no point spending time on it. And then we have all out of cards, so 52 pickup fully restores kinetic energy, increases damage to melee powers, reducing their kinetic energy costs, and prevents the use of ranged powers for a duration, so that's an interesting one. And then we have stack the deck, this is, this is really quite interesting, it's when you fully spend kinetic energy you gain red suits, the next time you fully spend kinetic energy instead gain black suits. The two effects continuously rotate and replace each other, one of them buffs melee and one of them buffs range, so that's for your hybrid gambits out there. And onto the fourth line we've got three of a kind, and this adds charges to trick cards, so trick card is, let's see, it's this particular one here, it will add charges to it, so you get three charges and it'll do more damage. That can be quite nice if you're running through to a boss and you get your three charges to quickly fire off onto them. And then we also have shuffle up and deal. So both all uses house of cards and landing, and foldum uses house of cards and departure. So I'll show you both of these. I do like this idea of combining two skills into one. There we go. You can see it there. And then if we also do the next skill, we jump back. You can see it there. I really do like them. They're probably one of my kind of favourite traits where we're, we're passively adding skills onto other skills at certain thresholds, be it spirit or health, that certain skills are activating. I, I really do like the, uh, I really do like that setup, and hopefully we see more of that. So the the final trait in this particular line is Deuce's Wild. So batter up deals 100% more damage if used within five seconds of Ace of Spades, and Grand Slam deals 100% more damage if used within 5 seconds of trick cards, so that's your other hybrid kind of setup skill you're looking at there. And for the final trait line we've got Ace of Diamonds, so Ace of Spades becomes a melee power dealing damage to all enemies around you. So here's your Ace of Spades. Oh that's strange, there's no, well, no animation the first few times for it, but we can see it's ranged regardless. If we activate this portion of it, take one moment till I'm out of combat. There we go, now it becomes Ace of Diamonds, and there it is there. Kind of interesting, nothing nothing crazy or anything like that changed it, but maybe people would be able to fit it in their builds. Um, next up we have Ace of Spades, or Ace of Clubs even, it makes Ace of Spades gain the following effects. So it can be charged up to 3 times and all hits become Brutal Strikes, so that's quite nice. Cooldown's 8 seconds on it. And then finally it's Ace of Hearts, like the way they've done that with the cards. 52 pickup will also periodically throw a fully ranged Ace of Spades at nearby enemy. So, quite nice. Uh, I'm, as I say, I'm not a huge Gambit fan, so I can't say either way kinda, how, how positive these changes are. But if, if you're a Gambit fan yourself and you like the changes, you don't like them, get on the test set and give feedback either way. It's really what the, these videos are about, encouraging people to get on Test Centre. 
the more people we have, the better hero is going to turn out at the end. So next up, again, I'm kind of just winging it here. I've got no idea what who to look at. I'm just looking for the list and randomly picking them. So we'll see who we've got next, but I'll see you again soon.